Caroline Alexa McBride. Welcome to Payotta Patisserie and Bistro, where authentic French style is defined by antique framed mirrors and dramatically blown glass lighting pictures. But even more eye-catching are the chocolates, baked goods, and beautifully designed gift packages, all artistically displayed in glass cases. But no time to window shop now, because we're going to go behind the burner and meet Chef Francois Payotta himself. We're here with Chef Francois Payard, who has agreed to make dishes from his cookbook, Chocolate Epiphany. What are you making for us? Uh, we make uh, chocolate French toast, and uh, what's different is we may use a brioche. What you may do, we may slice the brioche. Alors, what we have over here is very fresh brioche. If you have old bread, leftover of white bread or what, you can do the recipe with that. The eggs, Alors, we, we add the eggs, we break it up. Over here, we may add the sugar. Alors, it's pretty much like uh, making a custard, you know, it's the same idea. And what's different is just, in place to have a uh, chocolate inside, we have cocoa powder. Oh. And it's, uh, it's a very dark cocoa powder, unsweet, mm -hmm. and it's what may give the chocolate, you can smell it. Mm. We use a fresh vanilla beans. If you don't have the beans, you know, you can use a little bit of extract, but the fresh vanilla beans is much better. And what we do, we scrape the inside to just take the vanilla the beans inside the flavor, okay? We may add the cocoa powder now. And now at this point, you see, we may add the milk. Alors, when you add the milk, you have to go very slowly. You have to do like in three times to make sure there's no lumps of cocoa powder and make sure everything is dissolved. And if you add the milk too quickly, you know, may add a little piece of cocoa inside. It's very, it's not very bad, but you know, it's not beautiful texture and it's not very smooth. Okay, now you see our custard is ready. Now we may suck our bread. Alors what we want, you, you have to get, you get a little bit messy. If you want, you can wear a glove. You may just dip the brioche all inside the batter. Now over here, what we do, we may sprinkle a little bit of chocolate nibs. You see, I may put them now on this tray to make sure they don't stick. And I may put them in the freezer. They're frozen and look, they're very nice, very hard. Oh yes, they're very hard. Now what you may do, we may cook them. We may have a little bit of honey. Look at that sizzle, and it's a beautiful golden brown. Now we put them inside. Voila. I use a little bit of the honey because I don't use sugar. The recipe was no sugar at all, and now they're great. I can remove them. Now we may put them in the oven. See, let's check our French toast. Look at that. Well, I'm experiencing a chocolate epiphany right now, looking at these beautiful dishes. What are we eating? But we're having the French toast, and we see we was making downstairs. You know, it's very nice, it's very fluffy. On top, we have the warm banana, which is a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of whipped cream to break everything, you know. I think it's, uh, it's a perfect uh, Sunday brunch. Perfect Sunday brunch. Let me try it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost like a chocolate.